in the Midwest, uh, that's the overall number one seed of the tournament is Louisville coming in uh, hot off winning the, the Big East tournament. They're the only number one seed that has a tournament championship to its name. Everyone else uh, got knocked out in either the quarterfinals or the semifinals. And uh, it, it's a tough bracket in terms of when you just look at the top four teams because it's Louisville, Michigan State, Kansas, and Wake Forest. So each of them are teams that have gotten better during the season. Uh, the teams that, you know, Kansas is definitely a team that's peaking from where everyone thought it was going to be last year as it's defending its national championship and they're going there. But I, I think it's going to be a, a bracket without any upsets. I think that the bottom of the bracket just doesn't stand up to the way the top is. And uh, I think when you get to those last four teams in that regional, though, uh, Louisville just likes to turn the pressure up so much and get running that their matchup with Wake uh, could be one of those games where the shot clock operator can take the day off and no one would even know whether he showed up or not because uh, the, both teams just can go out and get it. They try to turn the pressure on each other. But Louisville's on such a run, I think that they'll find a way to prevail in there. And then you look at uh, Michigan State and Kansas, uh, two teams that, that they're getting better. They both definitely have flaws in, in what you can do to them. Uh, but Kansas is a team that's just, their confidence is growing every game. The, the freshmen are just getting more used to things. Sharon Collins has really adopted uh, his role as the team leader. Cole Aldridge is big and strong up front, so he'll offset anything Michigan State has. So I think you can look for a, a Louisville-Kansas final uh, in, in, in that bracket. And don't be Louisville should be able to move on to the Final Four. You know, after last year, having four number one seeds move on, first time that ever happened, uh, don't be surprised if it doesn't happen again because the four teams that they did put on top all pretty much deserved it over everyone else, and they're going to be there. And the only region that had a controversy about the number one seed was the West region, and that came down to Connecticut or Memphis, which they were going to take. And they looked at the overall body of work for a season, and even though it sounds crazy that a team that's on a 25-game winning streak like Memphis is wouldn't be one of the top four teams in the tournament, it came down to who they played. And I think the committee took Connecticut and the tough Big East schedule over that. Uh, it's really rare for a number one seed to be coming in having lost two games in a row, but they lost to Pittsburgh, and they lost a six-overtime game to Syracuse, so you can kind of understand that you could still be one of the best teams in the country and lose two games like that. Uh, again, except for an early matchup where I think Maryland as a 10 seed is, is a pretty good 10 seed. You know, they've beaten some good teams this season. Uh, they came through the ACC tournament uh, and, and they, they lost to Duke, but they, they had a good run toward the end of the season except for the loss to Virginia. So I, I think if you look at them, they can take care of Cal, who's a number 7 seed. But again, I think it's going to be a, a region that has, has the favorites coming through. Uh, Connecticut is so big and tough inside that they're going to be able to handle John Brockman of Washington. Uh, Washington's backcourt is young. Isaiah Thomas is a freshman. Uh, Dentman is coming on strong, but I think Connecticut's uh, veteran backcourt will be able to take care of them. And when you look at Memphis and Missouri, Missouri is a team that just tries to turn a game into pure bedlam. You know, the old Nolan Richardson, 40 minutes of hell, and Mike Anderson was his assistant when he was at Arkansas, and they won the national championship with it. He's playing it here. But a big difference between them and Memphis, these Missouri kids have never been in the postseason before. It's a new thing for a lot of them. The Memphis guys, even though they lost three stars from that team last year that went to the championship game and lost to Kansas, they still have some veterans there, and they play such good defense. But a UConn-Memphis regional final should really be something special. I just can't see Memphis being able to handle all that Connecticut can throw at him in that game. So I think another Big East team will get to the Final Four and looking at Connecticut there.